Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Part of PTC's Creo 1.0 product lineup is Creo View, a 3D design file viewer that handles many neutral file formats. I'm taking a look at its basic functions in this report here. When you first launch the software, you'll have the option to launch Creo View Lite, Creo View MCAT, ECAT or MCAT and ECAT, which allows you to work with electronic files and mechanical files together. Unless you know that you'll be consistently working with only MCAT files, ECAT files, or just need a lightweight viewer, I would recommend putting that check mark so that every time the software launches, it prompts you with the choices. Dealing with the dialog box at every launch may not be ideal, but it's easier in my view than going back to the options and changing the setup. Right now, I'm running the software as MCAT View for this report. What we're looking at is a Creo View model of a GPU included with the software as a demonstration model. Here are some of the preset viewing options that you've got. I'm going to try some cross-sectional viewing tools as well. Now, what you do is to define the viewing plane by an axis, then drag the plane along the direction or arrow to reveal the cutout views. Don't click on the arrow itself, a mistake that I made thinking that that's a handle. That's not the handle. You can move the plane along the arrow. That's what it means. With the translation mode turned on, you can drag the item along an axis to specify its new position. In the middle of a component's movement, you can also apply a rotation, of course. There is also a series of annotation tools so that you can add your comments to the design file. Let's also try out some of the smart explosion tools. No, no, not the kind that you hear about in Iraq and Afghanistan, just the assembly explosion tools. First, I'm going to try it out on the entire assembly, then also try it out on an individual component, like this. Let's also try opening some neutral CAD file formats. This one is iGIS and it's the model of a camera housing. And if you are a SOLIDWORKS user, you might probably recognize this one. This is a step file exported from an oil pump assembly included with SOLIDWORKS as a tutorial content. Now, assuming that your imported assembly has enough substructures and subcomponents, you can automatically generate a bit of materials from it as well. PTC Creo View formerly known as Product View before Creo branding took place, gives you an easy way to look at complex assemblies and CAD data in a manageable format. This is not meant as an editing program, so you wouldn't, for example, import a design created in another 3D program into this to change its geometry or rearrange parts. But if you need to share, view, inspect, and create interactive animations from an existing design file, this may be one of the products you'll use. We'll take a closer look at its other features later. For now, this is Kenneth Wong with a brief view on Creo View.